This gym is made from melted knives. Taken off the streets of London. To try to change attitudes about knife crime. Knife crime in the capital is at its highest level in seven years. Every month the police sees about a ton of knives off the streets of London. A charity called Steel Warriors wanted to transform all that metal into a positive symbol for communities that have been most affected. For many young people it's not seen as a shocking thing to carry a knife and we want to get people rethinking that. We feel like there aren't enough spaces across the city and across the country where young people can build more physical confidence. So they melted down the knives and built a steel gym for young people living in Tower Hamlets, East London. Snapchat QR codes generate mobile videos showing people how to use the equipment. So they won't even need to pay for a personal trainer, they won't need to pay for a gym membership. They'll have a free gym and a free trainer there for them. One of the online trainers is Derek Twum. He spent 10 years in jail for knife-related crime in the US. Why do young people feel like they need to carry knives? Um, one of the main things is to feel protected. And once you start building that muscle and feeling more kind of confident about yourself, you don't feel the need of carrying weapons because you know what you can do with your own body. So it helps. Fitness is a very good way of getting young people off the streets. I'm one of those people. A calisthenics workout is like a form of street gymnastics, using just your body weight and the bars to build muscle. But once they get into um, calisthenics, it becomes literally like a lifestyle. They live it, they sleep it, they think about it every day. And it does a huge um, service for a young person. If you are like angry or something like that, or you want to get revenge or something, uh, people like me can go like to the to the, like, this place to like work it out. The Steel Warriors managed to get the gym built for free, with the help of volunteers. It's too early to say whether the gym will change attitudes to knife crime, but the team is hoping to build more. Hopefully this will play a part in not only getting people talking about the issue of knife crime, but also play a part in giving people more of a positive way of spending their time.